ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Welcome to the party. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. Praise God. I am here with you today. Praise God. We are at the end of day seven. Hallelujah. Congratulations to each and every one of you who are steadfast on this fast. Praise God. You are moving into things of God, doing what God has called you to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a glorious day. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall be glad in it. Praise God. I'm just so happy to be here with you guys today. Hallelujah. This is day seven. And you know that the number seven means ending. So, you know, a lot of things are coming to an end. Praise God. Those old things that used to hold you down. They're coming to an end, praise God, because the Lord is bringing you into a new beginning. Let me say that again. The Lord is bringing you into a new beginning. The message today came out of uh, Luke 19, verse 10. And it reads, for the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. So this lets us know that Jesus Christ came to seek and save those who are lost, praise God. And one time we were lost before we made uh, Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, before we were drawn and called and brought into the body of Christ, praise God, hallelujah. Before we had that longing for Jesus Christ, you know, we were lost, y'all. And so when we're looking around at people who are doing, you know, out of mind things and it seems like they're not thinking through things, praise God, we have to understand that they are lost. And just as Jesus sought after us, praise God, to save us, he seeks after them to save them, praise God. And some Sometimes he uses you. Yes, sometimes he will use you, hallelujah, to speak a word over that person, to speak a word into that person, praise God, to revive that person just from the breath of life, hallelujah, in you, which belongs to God. Do you understand? Hallelujah. So he will use you for a particular purpose just to revive a person, to bring them back to consciousness, hallelujah. And we know that there are many people walking around unconscious. We know that there are many people, praise God, hallelujah, it's almost like they just put uh, put themselves on, um, you know, that that autopilot, praise God, where they just go, go with the flow. And they're just moving about, praise God. And there's no real thinking. There's no praise and there's no worshiping. They're just going with the flow. Hallelujah. But we know that we are set apart. We can't afford to go with the flow. Hallelujah. That price right there, that eternal price of damnation, that's a little too high. Hallelujah. I'm not ready to give over my soul for a damnation cry. Do you understand? I'm not ready to give over my soul. Hallelujah. For a hell cry. Hallelujah. Not me. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that's just a little too much for me. Praise God. So I'm not willing to be on autopilot. I'm willing to be on Jesus pilot. You understand? Doing what Jesus Christ tells me to do. Moving into things of God. I'm ready to be like that, y'all. Hallelujah. Call me a puppet, call me anything, call me a vessel, hallelujah, used by God, yep, that right, hallelujah, go ahead and call it, hallelujah, locked and sealed in the mighty name of Jesus, because that's where I prefer to be, hallelujah, that's where I choose to be, that's where I find love and peace, that's where I'm free and free indeed, that's where I live life more abundantly in Jesus Christ, hallelujah, when I'm trusting in Jesus Christ, he opened doors for me, praise God, hallelujah, he does not set out to harm me, these are things I know, and I know for a fact, praise God, because of my journey, because of my walk with the Lord. He has shown himself to me. Hallelujah. He has shown the angels to me. Praise God. He has given me ministry. Hallelujah. And it's only by his hand alone, his powerful, authoritative hand alone. Praise God. He is my master and I am his servant. Praise God. But I'm also family. Hallelujah. I'm also a child of God. And I understand when the Lord is calling upon me to do a work, what that means that I have a responsibility to get it done. Praise God. Because he is expecting me to get it done. Hallelujah. There is no if and but about it. There's no delay or I'll just wait till tomorrow. Praise God. No. Hallelujah. I'm going to get up and do what God is telling me to do. Period. Hallelujah. Why? Because he's my father. I identify him as father. I know him to be my father. Hallelujah. I know Jesus Christ to be my Lord and Savior. Why wouldn't I get up? Why wouldn't I move? Why wouldn't I do? Why wouldn't I listen? Hallelujah. I know who my family is. Why wouldn't I praise God? Hallelujah. That's the question right there. Praise God. Some people may say you're doing too much. Some people may say you're leaning on God a little too much. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why wouldn't you? Why? Why wouldn't you praise God? Hallelujah. He has done all great things for you. You woke up this morning. You're able body and sound mind. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, you're able to eat, right? Praise God. He made sure you ate today. Hallelujah. And those who are unable to eat and you have extra bread, 
Give them a peace, praise God. Hallelujah. That's what we're here for. Hallelujah. To take care of one another, but also to recognize why we're here, which is to do the business of God. Be about his mission, praise God. We got to be number one about his mission. We got to take on God's mission as our own. Hallelujah. We see it like he see it. We smell it like he, he smell it, praise God. We talk it like he talk it. Hallelujah. We got to be one with God, moving forth in what he's calling us to do. This is why we are consecrated, so we can be one with him. Hallelujah. Not leaning on our own understanding, not doing what we want to do when we want to do it, praise God, but doing what God calls us to do when he tells us to do it, praise God. Hallelujah. As the children of God, we are. I know sometimes people want to be grown. They think they grown, praise God. Hallelujah. Sometimes a little too grown to where they don't even want to listen to God. I'm telling you right now, hallelujah, but I pray that we on this platform never get too grown for God. I pray, hallelujah, that we're always lowly and humble. I pray, hallelujah, that we understand that nothing is produced by us, but it's the power of God that's in us. Hallelujah. It's the allowance of God to allow us to walk through and get through. Hallelujah. To allow us to prevail, praise God. To allow us to be more than conquerors, to be successful, to be uh, excellent in our walk, praise God. Hallelujah. It's his power that does it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you receive it and believe it in Jesus' mighty name because God is so good to us. Now, this word today came out of Luke 19, verse 10, praise God, where Jesus seek and he saved those who are lost. That's why he came here in the first place, praise God. Hallelujah. So I pray that you reverence him today, that you meditated on the word and that you gave him your full heart, hallelujah, and trying to hear what he was saying, praise God. But one thing that the Lord uh, shared with me, praise God, before I came on here, uh, I asked the Lord, I asked him, praise God, who are you to us today? You know, you have to communicate with God. Who are you to us today? Praise God. And he said, Jehovah Nisi. He's Jehovah Nisi today. And that means the Lord, my banner, praise God. And when, and I'm pretty sure you can see the um, Bibles here. I have two Bibles here, but I also have um, my Bible a dictionary praise god hallelujah and i wanted to go ahead and look up banner even though um i don't know if you've uh read this book this book right here is by tony evans the power of god's names so jehovah nisi is in this book praise god but um, i wanted to look up banner in the bible dictionary and so what it says is it's a sign carry to give a group of a rallying point let me say that again it's a sign carried to give a group a rallying point, praise God. And what the Lord was sharing with me, hallelujah, and as I was looking this up, praise God, he said this, that banner means belonging. This is what he said to me. It means belonging. After I looked it up. Now, when I looked it up, I wrote this definition here, that it's a sign carried to give a group a rallying point, as I read from the dictionary, and it represents victory, allegiance, and commitment, praise God, hallelujah, as I referenced uh, Dr. Tony Evans' book, praise God, hallelujah. But I wanted to share this with you. I also reference Jesus. I also reference, reference the Holy Spirit because, you know, the Holy Spirit is the witness of Jesus Christ. So I wanted to know what the Lord was saying. What does this mean to us? from you, right? From the Lord. And the Lord shared that it means belonging and that this banner showcases our belonging to him. That when he represents us as Lord, my banner, that he's the banner, praise God, showcasing our belonging to him, which is Christ. And I thought that was so beautiful. So today he's our banner. He's showcasing that we belong to him. He's showcasing, I'm telling y'all, people see it. They see that we belong to Jesus Christ. It's not a banner. You don't have to wear a shirt, praise God. You can if you want to, but they just see it, y'all. You are light illuminating in the realm, praise God, of earth and in the realm of the spirit. I'm telling you, you are bright. He is showcasing you. And I pray that you believe this and receive it today because it was such a beautiful moment. I, I don't know what I was expecting and I don't know where the question came from. I just asked it. As soon as I sat down, Lord, who are you uh, to us today? Praise God. Out of the blue. Hallelujah. And he said, Jehovah Nisi. And I truly believe that that question that I asked was encouraged by the Holy Spirit because it was not what was on my mind when I came in here to just, you know, praise the Lord, to uh, uh, go over scripture, praise God, and get ready for this um, 
you know, this uh, communion today, day seven with you all. That was not a question on my mind, praise God. But as soon as I sat down, that was the question I asked. Hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful to be in the presence of the Lord, to be used by God. Hallelujah. To just be encouraged and, and to, to have yielded to a point where even the questions I asked, I'm like, what in the world did that come from? But I know it's a God question. Hallelujah. And he answered it. He asked the question and he answered it. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I'm sharing it with you to let you know that you're being illuminated in this time. And it's God's light that's shining through you and people are going to recognize you and they're going to recognize you as a child of God. They're going to recognize you as belonging to Jesus Christ because he's the banner, praise God. Jehovah Nisi, that's who he is to us. Hallelujah. We just praise and honor you, Lord. Thank you so much for that in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Right now, we're going to go ahead and move into our communion. Praise God. And we're going to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and we're going to start at verse 23. I have my cracker here, praise God, and I have my grape juice. I pray that you go ahead and get yours. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to go ahead and start reading. Praise God. And again, congratulations on, on completing day seven. Hallelujah. This is chapter 11, 1 Corinthians, starting at verse 23. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. way he took the cup after also after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in so doing, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick, and a number sleep. Hallelujah. We just thank the Lord for communion today. We thank the Lord for gathering today. I praise the Lord, hallelujah, right now for each and every one of you who are staying steadfast on this fast, praise God. You're going to see the growth in you, praise God. You're going to see how closely you've gotten to the Lord, praise God. You're going to hear him more. You're going to see signs more, praise God. You're going to see him show up for you. Miraculous things happen, hallelujah. It won't take much effort for you to get through these things, praise God, hallelujah, because the Lord is not fighting you. He's letting you through the doors, praise God. There are open doors. Keys have been released, praise God, hallelujah. Walk through the door, Receive your keys in the mighty name of Jesus. He said today, he is Jehovah Nisi for us in Jesus' mighty name. May we receive him as our banner. Hallelujah. Illuminating through us and for us in every situation. We will walk through, praise God. We are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. We have been chosen for this, praise God. He is letting everybody know who we belong to. Hallelujah. This is a glorious time in the Lord, praise God. The ending is here. Hallelujah. The ending to those things that used to trap you. The ending to those things that had you held down. Hallelujah. The ending to those things that meant you no good. Praise God. That's done. Hallelujah. Today is the seventh day. That is done. The end is here. Praise God. He is showcasing you. Hallelujah. As he is. Praise God. You belong to the Lord. Hallelujah. Give him all glory, honor, and praise today in Jesus' mighty name, knowing that you belong to the one who saves. Knowing that you belong to the one, hallelujah, who has good plans for you. Knowing that you belong to the one who has promises and made a covenant with you. Knowing that you belong to the one who said, hallelujah, you belong to him. He is showcasing you himself praise God. He's going around talking about you in good ways. He's going around showing everybody you. I'm telling you, he's showing you all, praise God. He's the banner. Hallelujah. You ain't, you don't have to say anything to anybody, praise God. It's the banner that's going to speak. It's the banner that's talking. Hallelujah. It's the light that's talking, praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care who supports you, who don't support you, praise God. Who's on the wagon, who jumps off the wagon, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm letting you know today, praise God, that God is illuminating you. He's the one who brings increase 
victories, praise God. He's the one who's over everything. Hallelujah. You need to be on the winning team and on the side of the Lord, praise God. Being obedient into what he's calling you to do, hallelujah. Because he has obedience, hallelujah. Stamped on his children, praise God. He has obedience, hallelujah. Stamped on his children, praise God. This is God Almighty, hallelujah. This is Jesus Christ, praise God. This is the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Do you understand? You are being illuminated in the land. Receive it and believe it in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you are blessed with this word. I pray that you are blessed today. Go on, continue eating clean and drawing closer to the Lord. Praying, reading the word, and meditating on it in Jesus' mighty name. Watch how God shows out for you, praise God. Because he's talking about you. He's illuminating you, praise God. He's showing you off in this time. Hallelujah. Understand that you belong to Christ. Hallelujah. And he's proud of you in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed in all your ways, knowing that God loves you. I will see you tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. with a morning prayer for day 8, praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that you continue this fast with me 21 days of fasting we are submitting to the lord submit today in jesus mighty name i love you with the love of christ peace and blessings Bye. ingredients to get to know god ingredients to get to know god ingredients to get to know god ingredients to get to know